Hey everyone, I'm Mike Razor, host of the Lake Dawson Morning Show, and I'm glad you came. Mm-hmm. Today on the Lake Dawson Morning Show, we're going to be speaking to the real estate professionals <clears throat> who have a nine to five job, and after their job, they do their real estate. Uh, investing or uh, agency work, purchase and sales. Um, And I want to go over the different aspects of what you're going to be dealing with, as well as how to balance everything out. Um, When I started as a real estate agent and investor, um, I did have a nine to five job and it required me to work my nine to five as well as go out and show real estate. Now, Um, There were times where I had to actually take off work in order to sign the documents and uh, close that rental deal, for example. Um, And it it happened several times. Um, In that case, you have the opportunity to have another agent, uh, broker, uh, to go and sign the documents. Um, You know, if you trust them, awesome. If not, then you have to go ahead and take the take that time off, ask to be let out early, or, or something to that effect to get the documents done. So, and I need to be perfectly honest with you all, if you're interested, truly interested in being a real estate agent and um, uh, investor, then you definitely are gonna need to take a day off from work or uh, take half of a day. At some point, it's gonna happen. Whether you have a a, a friend of yours who works for the agency, go and do it or whatever, okay? Now, you could always negotiate terms with the agent. I've never, ever, ever, not even with my friends, have ever met someone who was willing to go and sign a contract for you and not expect to get anything in return, um, like a couple bucks or whatever. So, um, if you have a friend that will, awesome, you know, but... Uh, my 11 years or so doing this, it's it's not happening. It has not happened. So, uh, so I just want to be clear about that. The next thing is you have to structure your time appropriately. Now, there's books out there that that'll help you out with that. Um, the Millionaire Real Estate Agent, The Millionaire Real Estate Investor. Um, uh, was it uh, BiggerPockets.com? You can get a couple books from there as well. But the main focus is the structure. So if your schedule, for example, hinders you from going out during the morning, um, you could have another agent show the, the client and you guys split the split the, uh, the profit or uh, you just let the clients know that your schedule is in the evening, uh, Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday, however you're going to do it. And um, you you could actually you could also do Monday to Friday in the evening, and then if you're off Saturday and Sunday, and do you could do the whole day that you know during the weekend. Uh, but um, when I when I was doing it, I mean this was an everyday thing. This is consistent, you know. When I was starting out, and I mean I was I was going to look at real estate. I was um, checking to see you know the finishes the. Uh, if they have a doorman, if they don't have a doorman, what the price point is, how the neighborhood look, how far close it is from schools, from parks, uh, etc. Looking at the the um, the buildings in the neighborhood to see if there are other options to show when showing the client the property and um, the whether it's a co-op condo, condo, uh, 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 or, or townhome that we're working with and and not only that when you're dealing with there's a difference from when you're dealing with the management and when you're dealing with the actual owner of the property um, which you usually deal with when you're dealing with brownstones or townhomes that kind of thing Um, so be mindful of those things so you need to make sure you're you're, you strategically plan your time now um, you could get the uh, Harvard Business Review on time management and that'll give you the structure of how to begin that process. Um, everything is within hours. Uh, I believe Bill Gates, he, was it Bill Gates? 
think it, it may have been Bill Gates, his time frame, he, he mapped his time out in increments of 15 to 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, you want to make sure that your time is being utilized uh, the best way that it possibly can be. Um, and, and not only that, but that you also have the set structure with when you're checking your emails, from checking your emails, uh, the times you're going to meet meet clients and show them properties, to um, interviews with the property owners, um, discussing uh, strategies in terms of how to rent or sell the property that the individual has, um, that's, that's the individual's gonna put out on the market. Um, and then you, you just put all that together and kind of structure your way up from there. Like I said before, if you are working with a mentor who has uh, properties on the market currently, if you have a nine to five scheduled job and you have a family, it's going to be quite difficult for you to work directly with them um, because usually their viewings are during the day and they usually want you to be there with them to kind of go through the process. But there are some who will allow you to show the property in the evening after you get off work if you guys have that rapport. Now, if that happens, man, that's awesome. And um, many people have nine to five jobs. So uh, if you do the scheduling and you know these people have, you just ask, do you have a nine to five job? Is it best to do it in the evening? Like, you know, weekends, what's your schedule? and then you kind of work from there, okay? So that's very, very, very important when it comes to structuring your day, especially if you have a nine to five and you have a family. Now, also too, um, I did also work for a temp agency during that time. So my my time was fluctuating. It was, you know, so one, one day I may have the full day, the next day I may have to work, and then after work go and do the uh, the real estate, um, and then go do my marketing. Uh, my marketing with the with the company that I work for. Uh, if you read the 90 Day Blitz, uh, it, it goes into detail on that. Um, but the uh, then then um, then I finally got finally gotten the foundation with the full time nine to five, and now I was not only doing the nine to five, I was also doing the real estate. So, it was, you know, it was a lot. At one point, I was working five jobs, to be perfectly honest. But that was me. That doesn't have to be you. That was me. And I was, you know, I didn't have a family. It was just myself. And I was going through. I was going through. This is why I created the videos. This is why I have the Lake Dawson TV show uh, for newbie real estate professionals. Because this allows you guys to not have to go through what I went through. Okay? So... Um, and then I was in a relationship and, and um, the young lady had a daughter and so I was taking care of them while I was at my nine to five and I was doing the real estate. So I learned to uh, balance things out and I had to have a conversation with um, the woman that I was with at the time um, in terms of growth and my time uh, my time schedule, okay? So this may be something that you need to do. Uh, I'm, and I'm speaking for men and women as well. So let's be clear on that. Um, structure your time appropriately. I know some of you may have kids. Some of you may need to uh, may need to pick the kids up from daycare, you know, and that's, that's understandable. I understand that if you love real estate, if you love investing, if you love development, just know that it's gonna take up some of your time to go out and do your due diligence um, with regard to um, scheduling your times with the clients, scheduling times with going to viewings, uh, broker events, and if you're doing investing, um, actually doing a walkthrough of different neighborhoods um, and, and, and looking at properties that are in the neighborhood for sale, what the average price point in the neighborhood is, and walking further down past the neighborhood to see if there's anything within your price point. Um, I know we, uh, my business partner and I, we took a trip uh, to Jersey and we literally, we took the bus, went across, we didn't even drive, 
and we walked Union City, we walked Jersey City, we walked uh, Hoboken, because all those are within the same vicinity. Some people wouldn't want to do that, but, but we have a passion for this thing. We have a passion, so we decided let's do that. And then the following day, we went back out, and instead of going to Union City, we went to Hackensack. Um, so we took a walk through Hackensack, uh, you know, Bergen County. We, you know, we looked at the price points. We Googled some things uh, to see what the price points were in the neighborhoods, and then, um, and then from there, we restructured our plan. It's just like a plane in the air, it has to always restructure itself to get to the end point. Um, and then we went further south um, until we hit, we went through uh, Newark, we went through Bloomfield, we went through Elizabeth, uh, we went through Roselle, Roselle Park, um, what else? We went through uh, Trenton, um, and we, we realized the further south we got, the better the price point was and the more house we received, uh, but we had to balance everything out, okay? So we just need to be clear. And just for clarification, as a real estate investor, you do not need your real estate license to invest in other states or the state that you're licensed in, okay? Um, I do have my real estate license, um, but I, per, I, I specifically studied to get my real estate license so I could so I can know both uh, the agency side of the business as well as the investor side of the business. So let's be clear on that, okay? So let's balance everything out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and understand that this is not this is not a sprint, right? This may take you some time to get to that next level. Let's be honest. Let's be real with each other, right? Um, so your growth uh, you may need a mentor to push you in that right direction. There was a young lady that I worked with when I first started uh, with Gold Star Properties, uh, and I worked with her. She asked for help because she saw the closings that I, that I was doing in the specific neighborhoods, and she had just moved to the U.S. from another, another um, from an island somewhere, and I won't get into detail as well, but... I, we, um, we took a train, New York has trains, some of you guys don't have trains, but we took the MTA, um, Metropolitan Transportation Authority, I think I said it right, anyway, we took it down to 72nd Street uh, in Manhattan and I showed her the neighborhood that I was renting the properties, uh, renting the units and so on and so forth from. I showed her where the sales properties were that I was showing them, that I was showing in the in the area over in uh, Central Park um, Park Avenue South. My apologies. And then we went all the way up to Harlem, and I showed her areas of Harlem that I um, that I was showing for rental and for sales, and um, and also introducing her to the property of some of the property owners that I work with as well. So this in turn grew her understanding of the neighborhood and how the price points worked in. And then uh, she began to rent her own spaces out and uh, work on sales and so on and so forth. So, um, so yeah, she didn't have a, she didn't have a family. I think she had a husband, but that was it. But I was able to pinpoint specific things that she didn't know to push her to the next level. And I want to tell you now that this is your time to do that. It's time for you to get a mentor, number one. Don't be afraid to ask. If you'd like for me to mentor you, send me a message. I think I'll put the link down at the bottom. Send me your email. Um, and or what you can do is put in a little message box. Say, I'd like to be mentored. What, you know, what's the next steps? And then I'll send you my information and then we can go from there, okay? Um, yeah, so that's going to be it. Anyway, hope you all have a wonderful day today. Like I said, if you have questions, you can email me. Um, email me at uh, Mike, M-I-K-E, at propertybrothers.online. Uh, that's P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y-B-R-O-T-H-E-R-S dot online, O-L-I-N-E. 
okay? Um, or you could e email me from my personal, which is M-I-C-H-A-E-L-R-A-Y-S-O-R, -E the number one, at gmail.com, okay? Either one is fine. Uh, like I said before, we could, we could go through this process and um, and let's see where you are and let's, let's get you to where you want to be, all right? Have a wonderful day, everyone, and it's going to be an amazing day. Talk to you soon.